else we're going to do. So you guys all know how to play, so this is probably really boring to watch me do this, right? It's a very unusual tool to use when you're not used to it. It's, it's not a real one. I want to get a little used to it. Is that getting better? What are you seeing? I can see it from here. I can see it. Yeah, uh, is it getting better or no? Uh, it's going to wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to kind of get in and get out. Put, yeah, it's this one. It's still hologramic. Yeah, I think it's much better. Yeah, it's definitely better. Yeah. And would any of you normally use that small amount of product? No. Uh, no. 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 And a little spray water. You'd use kind of a normal amount of product? Yeah. What would be normal? Would you just squirt a line on here? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Something like that? Yes. You were going to stop me because you thought I was going to go farther, didn't you? Okay. So if we do this, I'm not going to change the speed of the tool. Was that slower than you guys would normally run? Because I'm, I'm down about two. Polishing or common? Polishing. But polish is about a dollar. Kok saya sih hampir sama ya kayak compound. Or like compound in I'm talking polish at this point. This compound, compounding is not your problem with these paints. Okay. Compounding you fix stuff really quick and easy. The problem is the finishing polish you can't finish out without a hologram, right? Mm -hmm. yes. That's the problem. I'm not worried about the compound. Compounding is easy on this car. All okay. the defects are gone, boom, the blink of an eye practically. It's trying to finish it that's the problem. Right. Probably okay. I'd slow it down a little bit, but would you use this much product? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I used hardly any product, right? Yeah. Yes. And even with the difficulties that we had, that tool that I'm not familiar with, I got things down pretty quickly, and I'm confident if I worked a little bit more, I could get it away even further. Okay. But if I use this much product, right now I expect the hologram level to go way up. Yeah. Okay. How long would you normally polish an area? How many times would you go over it? Sampai habis. Sampai habis. Sampai kering ya. Sampai habis ya. Until the this is the product is. So it's almost gone. Yes. So it's almost gone. Yes. Still almost gone. All right. 
I'm still running at the same tool speed that I was before. Yeah. Okay. I'm still using the same really light pressure that I was before. Still using the same tool I'm not familiar with. <coughs> Did you still keep polishing? Kalau sampai posisi seperti ini masih terus dipolis atau enggak? Udah Ah, ya. Yes, I see the worse. Yes. It got worse. Yeah. Uh, di sini ada malah ada hologram di sini. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh -huh. yep. So, with more product and longer polishing, it actually got worse. We got a better result very fast with very small amount of product a small amount of water, and a very short buffing cycle. We got a better finish. Yes. I would not worry about a hologram with your compounding step. I also would not be terribly aggressive on these particular paints with my compounding stuff. It's not, it's not horrible. You get down here and it's noticeable. It's not horrible, but it's not as good as it could be. But less product and less time buffing will actually, I know you do it with a rotary and a DA, will probably give you a better finish overall, which also means less time. Okay. This is right. right. Yep, that's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, do we have the G300 out here? No. No. Okay. Well, I'll use 100. That's fine. Okay. So here's here's the idea with the microfiber system. This is actually our extra cut bits. Yeah. You'll notice there's no foam in this disc. The standard cutting disc with the microfiber system has foam, but it's a little thinner than this and it's burgundy in color. They don't have one here, so I'm going to use this instead. This gives, this gives me about 20% increase in cut over the cutting disc. Okay, so here's how we use the microfiber pad. This is kind of a bit unusual outside the norm. Why microfiber in the first place? It makes a DA very, very aggressive. 
And we think about microfiber as being very soft. That's why we like it for our towels, right? Karena microfiber itu soft, Yes. Well, the reason we really like microfiber is not so much because it's soft, but because it grabs and holds on to stuff. And I want to take advantage of that characteristic by priming this pad fully. That means every strand of microfiber I want covered in compound. Because microfiber will hold on to it. I can put much, much more abrasive on a microfiber pad than I ever could on a foam pad. That is not fully primed. I see too much microfiber on here. I'm setting the tool speed at 4,800 oscillations per minute. That's oscillations, not revolutions. Okay. Firmly down on the paint, and then I'm going to move just like I do with the rotary. interesting paint. This didn't haze anywhere near as bad as I thought it would. There is yeah. definitely haze, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, I was expecting this car to look gray and not black yeah. after doing this. Um, 
There's definitely haste. Yes. But I'm guessing this is going to be pretty easy to correct. Now, there's still a few deeper scratches in here, right? That, I mean, I would go after those with, and again, like I said, this is a much larger area than I would normally work. But if I shrink this down, A lot of deeper ones over here. How large of an area do you usually buff? I don't have the DNA. I don't, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like this. Like, like this right here? All the way? Okay. Thank you.